Welcome back to Educator.com. In this lesson, we will be discussing coverage. We will be covering and defining what is coverage. We will introduce the basic concepts of continuity editing, what that means for us every time we throw that word around. We will also discuss and describe um, the, what is crossing that the line, a term you've probably heard um, before. It's also called the 180 degree rule. And we're gonna discuss a little bit about why we don't usually want to cross it. And then finally, we are going to um, define and describe simple coverage. We're gonna explain it and explore it and tell you a little bit about how to plan coverage for a scene. Let's begin. Okay, so what is coverage? Um, coverage is the shots or camera angles you shoot of a scene. So every time you go to shoot a narrative scene, let's say a simple scene between two actors, you have to get coverage of the scene. Um, and what that means is we don't just simply put our camera down and get a wide shot of the two actors performing. Um, if it's a scene in the kitchen, we don't just plop our camera down, get a wide, and do a couple takes and call it a day. Um, that it would be more of what you would experience in theater. The wonderful thing about video and film, um, the cinematic um, it process, is that we actually can get multiple angles of the action, um, different image size, and then we cut it together to create one seamless um, edit. So in narrative cinematic language, in order to create enough footage to create a scene, a continuous edit of a scene, you must shoot the entire scene from start to finish from different angles. And that is the process of getting coverage. Um, every time you get, you, 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 you want to um, cover the scene in a different way, you have to move the camera and start uh, the action from beginning to end. So you need to have several shots of the same complete action to create that continuous edit. You're going to need a variety of camera angles and image sizes. In a previous um, lesson, we, just, we discussed uh, field of view, so medium shots, close-ups, wide shots. And for the editing to feel continuous and fluid, which means there are no jump cuts, you need to change the camera position for each shot. So when you make that change, you're going to change it 30 degrees, and you're going to change the image size. And then also, you're not going to, we don't want to cross the line. It's also called the 180 degree rule, which we're going to discuss more at length what that means in this lesson. Okay, continuity editing. What is that? So in order to have the continuous edit, we need to do a few things. As um, already mentioned, we need to change image size. We need to change camera angle. You need to do at least 30 degrees. Sometimes less than that is okay. Um, you can get away with it, but it really isn't gonna be something you're gonna, with experience, you'll know when you can get away with a little bit less than 30, 30 degrees. Um, and also in the edit room, you're gonna discover, discover whether it works or not. Um, so all of these things are necessary for that Con continuity editing for continuous edit for it to feel like we have even though we've moved the camera around and maybe hours have passed from the first from the wide shot to the close-up it feels like it all happens in one time in one space so we cannot cross the line in order to have continuity editing which is the 180 degree rule and we have to match action so what I mean by that is you have to have the action from each take be the same um, so that in the close-up in the wide shot it is the performance is the same, the gesture is the same, et cetera. And then also the eye lines must match. So eye lines are the direction that the characters are looking at. In the scene, it's just natural. It's the two actors are gonna look at each other. So um, eye lines peep are, people look like they are looking at each other from shot to shot. Now, as I said, in the real world, of course, in the, in the scene, they're gonna be looking at each other. But the reality of the eye line doesn't always match how it appears on camera. This is to do with the angles, between the actors, between the camera and the actors, the lens choice. Um, so what really matters is the perceived eye line. And whoever's looking through the lens, looking through the camera, should be um, making sure that the eye lines work whenever you move the camera. Um, and it's something that um, on some script, on some um, larger shoots, uh, we have a uh, our script supervisor that helps us with all of this, with the, with the matching action, making sure that it's continuous, um, it's the same, as well as even eye lines, making sure that our eye lines are matching up.